Hi, this is Pastor Julian, and welcome to Central's Devotions for Today. Uh, we're going to highlight Philippians chapter 4, verse 8. Finally, brothers and sisters, whatever is true, whatever is noble, whatever is right, whatever is pure, whatever is lovely, whatever is admirable, if anything is excellent or praiseworthy, think about such things. Several nights ago, my son came and uh, couldn't go to sleep. It was because he watched a TikTok video that scared him. When he gets scared at night and he's in bed, uh, I try and get him to think about good things, think about positive things, great memories, uh, that Jesus is right there with him at bedside, making sure that he's safe and that that monster is not going to attack him. That works sometimes. Sometimes it takes a few nights of those positive memories to get him back to feeling confident and not scared anymore. It's a lot like us. Um, I know a lot of people who are going to bed at night and they have their phone or their uh, pad or their computer and they start scrolling through news articles and seeing all of this uh, craziness going on and no clarity on what's happening, uh, divisiveness. You see uh, people storming the Capitol building in Michigan. You see uh, that we could be in social distancing and for two years. And, uh, and there's all these things that are going to keep you up at night. Those aren't things uh, that, that kind of like the TikTok video for Cayman and, and makes it so that he can't go to sleep. And so you can't go to sleep because you're meditating on on these anxious things, these scary things. And maybe you keep searching and hope that you're going to find some good news. And that could happen. And there's uh, the other side of, of, uh, of that with social media. And social media can also agitate you and make you upset by seeing what your friends on there are posting. Uh, you can become disillusioned. Well, I didn't know this friend thought like that, or why would they post this? And then you might see something they post, and you might argue about it. Um, there's a lot of things that we can meditate on that are not good, that are not wholesome, that that uh, cause us harm, and, and maybe even draw us farther away from God. The mind is something that is very critical as far as Scripture goes in, in our um, relationship with God and in our faith. Romans 12.2 tells us that we're transformed by the renewing of our minds. And Jesus tells us that if we even think about committing adultery, we're committing adultery. So what goes on in our mind is really important, and we shouldn't neglect that. And here, Paul is assuring us, finally, brothers and sisters, whatever is true, whatever is noble, whatever is right, whatever is pure, whatever is lovely, whatever is admirable, if anything is excellent or praiseworthy, think about such things. That is what we need to meditate on. We need to meditate on God and how good he is, the blessings that he has given us, and we need to meditate on those great memories that we have from the past. We have, we, we have minds that store up all of these great memories. It's time to dig into that bank of memories uh, of all those great occasions that you've had throughout your life and try and remember them in detail. Meditate on those things. Whatever is good, whatever is lovely. Not the negative things that are going to just drag you down um, and make you susceptible to uh, anxiety, anger, uh, and draw you away from God and, and pull you out of character. We want you to be able to sleep at night. Uh, we want you to um, to have a, a pleasant disposition when you're with other people because God is good. Even in the midst of all this, God is good. And so let me say it one last time. Finally, brothers and sisters, whatever is true, whatever is noble, whatever is right, whatever is pure, whatever is lovely, whatever is admirable, if anything is excellent or praiseworthy, think about such things.
I got an email from somebody that helped me to be able to focus on this. I, she sent me an email, member from church here, uh, and, and in that email, she mentioned that she was making masks on demand for people, that she was going food shopping for a neighbor who's going through cancer treatment, and other neighbors who are elderly, she's making soup and delivering it to them and, and, and other meals. Now that is something that is, is uh, beautiful to meditate on and to think about and to try and strive for. So think about those great things. In Jesus' name, God bless you. Amen.